We begin with a biblical prophecy of Daniel 12. It says that when an abomination rises or begins, there will be 1290 days before God allows humanity to destroy itself. Then grants another month or so for the end to come. And as we look for abominations on this earth, nothing is really greater than fusion or the intent to bring the fire, the same fire that is on the sun here to earth. National Ignition Foundation facility here in the uh, uh, subdivision of San Francisco is that simple facility. Their intent is to bring that fire here. Fusion is the burning of atomic bombs, just like common fires are the burning of molecular bombs. Only if they start it, they can't put it out. The uh, scientists all say it can't happen that, that the fire would keep on going, not enough gravity here to keep it going. However, if they're wrong, we all die in a fire because the planet will become just like the sun. Not worth the risk. At NIF, the National Ignition Found Facility, they brag we will create an explosion 1,000 times greater than all the electricity generated in the U.S. Thereby, they uh, focus 192 lasers at just one spot. But if a single laser fails, all that energy comes out in one single beam. Over, uh, I think it's 20 kilotons of, uh, of explosive and all the energy to contain 20 kilotons of explosive. That's their military job. They've started. And that means that uh, the, there is no greater abomination uh, than risking an entire planet. So I would say to you that, that the prophecy has come true. Uh, at CERN, the uh, experimental facility at uh, in Switzerland, they uh, brag among themselves that they're going to bring the Big Bang back, the single most destructive event in the history of the entire universe. They want to make it here, and they are accomplishing that. They use the power of two to three nuclear power plants, all combined together, to focus the energy of those, the electrical energy of those plants, into a single needle-like uh, point that cause what is essentially a train wreck of this, uh, energy, that much energy uh, pulsing around a, a racetrack and crashing into each other. The, uh, the Big Bang here on Earth literally means that the planet blows up. It, it literally means that, that uh, something started the Big Bang and that is a, a, a consequence that, that they're trying to create. It's not worth the risk. At the genetic facilities, they brag, we will wipe out every tear. But they mutilate nature itself every single day, all around the world. Ending the sanctuary of body and mind, that is nature itself, because DNA is how the body and mind and everything living is created. How is that not going to be the crucifixion of all life on Earth? Another little problem not worth the risk. We have only one body. Mutilations of GNA are what birth defects are. If you want to see other consequences of not having a full body, just take a look at the people who have their legs and arms blown off. If you want to join them. Then we go to water. The water that uh, we need for life is under attack everywhere. They're pumping it into oil reservoirs and natural gas reservoirs, making ethanol out of it. Just ethanol alone, 15% of all the gas that we burn is ethanol. It takes at least three times to uh, water, more water than that to make the ethanol. It takes all kinds of uh, water for irrigation that they use. There's pollution involved in that. There's, you know, all kinds of uh, things. And, and we're losing trillions of gallons of water every year. We only get a recharge in the aquifers, according to the scientists, of one inch out of every 50 inches of rain. And they're sucking it out of the aquifers underneath our feet, most of it. The dust bowl was soon going to return because they've nearly emptied the Ogawa aquifer, which supplies most of the, uh, of the Rocky Mountain states on, on the east side. We use so much fuel, we burn so many fires, that oxygen depletion 
is a very, very real threat. We burn more oxygen just in fires than this earth creates. And we cut down every living plant and every living organism that creates oxygen for us. So uh, roughly 200 feet of air above your head is what we burn and you haven't had a breath yet. The end result of that cannot be in doubt. Our food supply is a potential danger because the, the uh, factory farm requires antibiotics to keep the, the uh, creatures alive. If they get sick without antibiotics to stop that sickness, they all die. And antibiotics are just about through. All of the primary ones, all of the cheap ones, they're all just about worthless. Ask a doctor. Our pollinators, pollinators are dying, all of them, and that includes a wide variety of insects. And those insects keep a lot of life alive. The birds and, and all kinds of things that will not survive without all these insects. And, and every year, uh, the insecticides, the people who put it on golf courses and on their yards and everywhere else, are killing them. And that includes the birds, the bats, the bees, and the geneticists are making seedless everything. So that any kind of reproduction for that ends with without two. We are making ourselves barren. And then we come to uh, uh, the U.S. or federal government says uh, spends a trillion dollars without a, a thinking about it. A trillion dollars is ten thousand dollars for each of one hundred million people. For each of everyone, that's one in three of us. Every trillion dollars you hear that they spend, one in three of us went ten thousand dollars further in the hole if it was real money. There's 15 trillion in debt currently. That's 150,000 per each of one in three citizens. 150,000. You take a look. One, two, three. He owns 150,000. That's how it works. So just, just the federal employees intend to spend in this year alone 6.2 trillion dollars. That means one in three of us is going to have to go into debt 62,000 dollars to make this happen. The money is simply not real. The current debt load of every citizen, not just the federal government, but every citizen, all of it, is about, is well, it's over $120 trillion. The current asset claimed by the Federal Reserve at their site is over $154 trillion. That's what their site says back in June. I haven't looked since. Divided equally, that's about $500,000 per person. That means the debt is just inflation. And the problem is, we the people did not get a share in that inflation. All the people who printed the money kept it for themselves. They just got free money. We got the debt. We got lied to. Our resources are being raped and destroyed and damaged beyond use. Our ecological chains of life are being dismantled and mutilated. Global warming needs no further evidence than all the ice is melting. It's been there for hundreds of years. It's now gone. That's, that's cause enough. Ocean depletion means radiation comes through, species extinction, and so on. And we have weapons of mass destruction. Just 25 nuclear bombs is said to be enough to kill us all with the consequences of it. Biological weapons are guaranteed to kill 98% of us, if not more, and there are people threatening to use them. Here's an interesting little tidbit as well. Noah's flood did exist, and that's proven by the enormous amounts of coal, oil, and gas that are buried together in one mass at the same time, which means they were born, they were buried at the same time, some thousands of feet deep. They could not have been done without a global flood. And there was a tremendous amount of life when that happened. So there are another issue is all that melting of ice and snow into the ocean basins means a lot of weight is being redis redistributed around this earth. So one inch of more water in the Pacific Ocean he has a tremendous amount of weight and no doubt the cause of shifting of the of the uh, tectonic plates below and the cause of therefore earthquakes and things like that. That's why Japan most likely had an earthquake there's and we're waiting at the California coast there next. And we have Yellowstone volcano. It does show a sign of a coming explosion. There's a reason to believe that and no one is doing anything. What we have to do is release the gas from underneath it that stops the explosive force 
the magma can still rise, but it cannot explode. It really just plain has to be done. And then there are millions of toxic materials pumped into the earth every day, just below an aquifer, even above it, uh, under the water, everywhere, in places where they will not stop pumping, even when they know it's full. Uh, there are places that have been supposedly full for 15, 20 years. They're still pumping it in it. And it's going to breach and, and it will destroy an aquifer and then we have nothing to drink. Probably enough. So I'm going to claim to be the world's biggest optimist because we can actually, I believe we can actually uh, still survive. But it's a choice that we have to make. Greed won't do, want won't do, selfish won't, won't do. You have to accept what is true. You have to work within reality and you have to pay the price. That's how it is.